What's up you guys, Veggie here. Um, I do know it's been a long time since my last video. I just wanna say I've had a lot going on in my life and me personally, I felt like I haven't had the energy. I felt like I haven't wanted to make videos. But today I felt like I'd give you guys a really powerful video. And it's really me expressing, you know, why I sort of go, and it's really me expressing why I go to the gym. And it goes into, you know, quite a deep level. And, um, and um, what I really wanna talk about here is what sort of separates people from passion in the gym as opposed to people who you know some days they're lazy and they just don't want to go to the gym so they don't and the fact of the matter is a lot of the reasons why these people would just rather skip the gym those days and not be as committed as to you know the passion of people people who stick to their routine stick to their nutrition who are in that mindset you know to gain the muscle to gain the strength not only that but to also you know every other aspect of weightlifting that you achieve you know, to help you overcome things in life, obstacles that come your way, because that's what I use weightlifting for as well. I use it to de-stress. I use it when mental health problems come in the way. You can help overcome that as well. So what I really want to be talking about is why do I have the passion for weightlifting and how can you guys get it as well? Now, I do appreciate that a lot of people watching this video probably do have the passion. They probably do go the four to five days a week. They probably eat their five meals a day. They probably hit their calories, you know? But I'm talking about I'm talking to the ones who, you know, they struggle from time to time. Some days they just don't want to go. They've had a long day of work and they just really can't be bothered to go to the gym. And the main reason why I, from the age of 16, have been going to the gym constantly. The only time I've ever taken breaks from the gym is when I've been injured and I need to take a break or I need a deload to increase my strength again. That's it. And the main reason why I do that is the gym has changed my life. It's a huge part of my life. And that's what you need to think about. You need to make it a part of your life if you want to if, if you want to constantly, you know, go to the gym. If you want to make the progress, you've got to make it part of your life. You've got to make it a part of who you are as a person. And I know that sounds cheesy and cliche, but you've got to be hungry. You've got to want to do this. You've got to love weightlifting. You've got to have the passion for it, the drive for it. Because a lot of people, quite simply put, they don't. When I go into the gym and I see people who are bench pressing, you know, 60 comfortably, and they're not pushing themselves to the limit. I can see it in their eyes. I can see it when they're making the effort. I can see it when they're not making the effort. And I see guys only squatting one plate or guys only benching, you know, 40, 50. And I'm talking kilos. When I see that, I know they're not committed. I know they're not pushing themselves to the limit. They're just here just to put in enough effort, not to go the extra mile and put in the effort that's needed for weightlifting, the passion you need inside to you know, really hit your goals, to increase the weight every week, you know, or to increase your strength, to increase the reps, just to constantly make progression. You need to have a lot of passion for weightlifting. It's not as simple as just going in and just getting it done. You've got to have, and the main reason why I have this passion is I've made it part of my life. Ever since the first day I went in at the age of 16, I made it part of who I am, you know? I went in there as a very shy kid, very introverted, and eventually, a lot of the people in the gym became like friends and family to me, even the personal trainers. When you start to develop the bond, because you can relate to everything other people are going through when they're lifting weights. You can relate to the struggle, the strength they're gaining, the muscle they're gaining. When you can relate to others, they become friends. They become, you know, they become a huge part of you. And when you start to make the gym that sort of environment where you actually look forward to going, you know, you're actually motivated to go because you actually love the people there you meet. You love the gains you're making. You love the feeling, you know, of the muscle contractions. You love pushing yourself to the limit. You have that passion to go five days a week. I myself go, I go four to five days a week. That's all I need. That's my routine, upper, lower split. So yeah, that's what really separates, you know, the average Joe from someone who has a lot of passion to go to the gym and who actually sticks to their routine. Because the chances are, you've probably seen when it comes to New Year's, you'll see the gym has an influx of customers coming, influx of gym goers. And more than often, they're usually gone by February or March. Do you want to know why? Because they'll have that sudden motivation to go for a month, but they won't have the commitment to constantly stay in the gym, to make it part of their lifestyle. And that's the difference. They, don't, they haven't found the reason. They haven't found the reason to have the passion, to have the commitment to constantly go all the time. And that's what you need to find. If you want to stay committed, if you want to stay motivated, you need to find the passion. You need to find your reasons to lift weights. I've said mine. 
Mine was first day I went into the gym, I didn't have much confidence. I wasn't talking to many people in the gym. Over time, I became more confident in myself. I had, um, I had body image issues, you know, as a teenager. I was very subconscious about having fat on my belly. I was very subconscious about being, you know, skinny fat, having no muscle. All these sort of body image disorders, you know, they helped me push myself to the limit. They helped me mold me who I am as a person. Those insecurities pushed me in the gym to make sure I am, you know, I have the physique I do today. It's those struggles and those days where I wasn't having good days, you know, certain people I was having issues with or certain challenges facing my way. Those are the best days I had at the gym because I was putting in extra effort. I was very stressed and I was able to use the gym to take out a lot of that stress. And another reason, when you start to lift heavy weights and compound movements, your body produces testosterone. You feel fucking amazing because you have that pump inside you, that drive inside you, that male hormone being released to make you feel like an alpha male. And I'm not saying you have to lift weights to be an alpha male, but when you've had a fucking amazing workout, you feel amazing, don't you? You need to start to realize that these really good feelings you're having about the gym are the reasons that will make you go. So those days where you can't be bothered, where you're feeling very stressed and you just need to take a day out, you need to start to realize that the gym in itself is going to help you in so many different ways in your life. You need to start to realize why you need to go to the gym if you want to go to the gym. I'm not saying everyone needs to be weightlifting. I think it helps people mentally, emotionally and physically. And those three things are why I go to the gym. I'm just telling you guys why I go to the gym four days a week ever since I've been 16. The only times I've ever taken out from gym is either A, I'm on holiday and I'm even then I'm trying to do push-ups and whatever to get a workout in. And B, is when I've injured myself, maybe my shoulders, I'll stay away from those sorts of movements involving that muscle fiber. Or another reason, maybe I'm taking a deload and I need to get my strength back up so I might take a week off gym. But other than that, I never take more than a week off the gym. And that's what's kept me in the gym, you guys. Those reasons. To have the power to overcome things in life. To have the emotional, mental and physical strength in life. And I do appreciate that weightlifting isn't going to help you in, you know, in terms of street fights or anything like that. But when I say physically strong, I mean your strength starts to go up your weights start to go up. You start to gain muscle. You start to feel good about yourself. You've got to start to feel the reasons to go to the gym. Not just to get that beach body, because once you have that beach body, you're going to give up. I've seen a lot of people, they'll go gym during summer, and once they have that nice body, they'll go to shit for the rest of the year. That's not really what you want to be doing. You don't want to just go to the gym to impress women, because as soon as you do that, you're not going to the gym for you. You're going to the gym for others, and you need to start going to the gym for you. Anyway, you guys, I do appreciate this video it does sound very cliche and, you know, cheesy in terms of motivation, but these are the reasons why I lift weights. It's because I was very introverted, because I felt gym was giving me confidence in life. It was helping me overcome obstacles in life. So many different obstacles. That's why I still go to this day. It's helping me in so many different areas of my life. I'd never give it up. Weightlifting is a huge part of my life. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you.